Spanking, okay or not? done my job almost 30 years as a mental health professional most people are going to think I say yeah you should never spank well you know what I was spanked when I was in school in public school when I grew up I was spanked by my parents wasn't horrible wasn't the end of the world I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to see parents spank in public but also to see parents spank out of anger because they are taking out their feelings on their children and I'm going to show you this video of this guy who was spanking his kids in public, had no care for anybody else that's around, and everybody can come at me with whatever they want because most people in my office, they get spanked and they end up in my office in a therapist's office, as an, uh, spanked as a child, end up in my office. The story I get is, look at me, I turned out fine. And I'm like, OMG. Because sometimes it can be a parenting tool that you use and it could be effective. Other times, it can be completely abusive. So here we go. Buckle up. Give me your comments and let's ride. Without further ado. I want you to look at something here. I want you to look at a couple things. Number one, this girl watching. Number two, the boy's head buried in that guy's leg, scared to death and in pain. And number three, the body energy and the power this guy's using. Just look at those. That is wrong. 100% that is wrong. And I can tell you exactly why. Number one, he is defaming. He is punitive. He is has no good character in anything he's doing right there. Cursing out children in public, which, God, number one, I'm telling you, number one, A, if he's going to do this in public, Lord knows what the guy's doing at home. That's all I'm saying. Number two, these children get no lesson out of this whatsoever. I'm the biggest believer in discipline you're ever going to find in life. And I'm going to tell you something, that if children don't understand anything about choice and consequence, and they only understand abuse and hurt, when they grow up, they're going to find people to abuse and hurt. And if they don't, they'll flip the script and they'll find somebody else to abuse them just like this dad did. I promise you that. One of those is probably going to grow up and meet an abuser and one of them is going to grow up to be an abuser. I've treated children for almost 30 years in the mental health field. I've treated parents just like this. And I can tell you, if there, let me just ask you this question. If there is any other way to do it that didn't require spanking, would you take it? And a lot of people look at me and say, no, I think it's fine. I think... Kids need a little good spanking every now and then. That's not a spanking. That's a beating, y'all. That is abuse. And I know there's a line between poor parenting and abuse. That right there is abusive. And I'll tell you what's even more abusive is what probably goes on behind the scenes. Because if this is out in public, it's going to be way worse behind the scenes. I have never told people they should or shouldn't spank in my career. I know it creates a lot of controversy. And I tell them, I see children where spanking has been used and it's been super effective. And you know what happens with those children? They hardly ever need it. <laughs> they understand, they learn, that's not okay. But this looks like a child, a boy, who's been spanked many times. This doesn't look like the first time this guy's been spanked. So what I can tell right off the bat is this guy's used to doing that all the time. And when things don't go his way, and when the kids don't act like they're supposed to, which, by the way, kids act like kids all the time, and when you're out in pl public trying to do your thing, like it was at a discount tire or something, that you're trying to get stuff handled, you got the kids with you, they're going to be kids. It doesn't mean let them act up. It means recognize that you need something for them to do, some way for them to occupy their time, and some time limit that doesn't have them incessantly waiting for that or find a way to leave the kids at home so you can go out and run your errands. It's not helpful to beat children. It just does. It's not effective. And if anybody who beats children uh, has those children grow up and say, man, I appreciate my parents for doing that. There is a difference between a beating and a spanking. They're going to be the ones who end up abusing other people or find an abuser. I was spanked in public school by my favorite teacher in second grade, Mrs. Bolden. I'll never forget her. 
she, I was impulsive. I was ADD probably all over the place. And it was okay to spank back then. She would take me down the hall. She would grab a belt loop on your, on your jeans and she would paddle. I don't ever remember her abusing me. You know why? Because she did it short. She did it swiftly. And she followed that up with behavior the rest of the day that appreciated me. In other words, Tommy, if you do that again, this is what's going to happen. Down we go. And I hardly ever needed it. So I'm not saying the spanking is bad. I'm saying it's used as a form of control and power. So if all you do is beat your kids, and this is different. Spanking is different than this. This is not spanking your children. Yes, the youth of today need more guidance, need more direction. You hear me talk about it all the time. They need to have rules and boundaries, choices and consequences. But when you get pulled over for a speeding ticket, you don't need to be beaten by a cop. Like, it doesn't help things. It doesn't help the children grow up to be stronger mentally or emotionally. It doesn't create character. It doesn't allow them to learn from a lesson. All that kid is saying is, man, I want to try to do something to not tick him off again. But a lot of times the children don't know, I I don't know what I did to deserve that. So a teenager acting up is different than a child acting up. Choices and consequences age appropriate. And I'm telling you what, these children don't deserve that. And the fear that was in that little girl's eyes was evident. She's like, I just don't want this thing to happen to me. So listen to this. Get help. You don't have to just take my word for it. There is data that can prove what abuse like this and trauma like this does to the brain. So it creates a fear state. Your eyes open up where you're always on alert with somebody's going to come and attack you or beat you and you either defend and protect yourself or you find somebody else to do it to you all over again. If you want to teach these children a lesson, then you say, you know what? If y'all can't sit still, we're going to leave. And if we leave, when we get home, you're going to choose to go to your room. You're not going to get the snack or the treat or your screen time or whatever. And you move on down the road. But if you're going to spank them and they act right and you say, see, it works. Then let me ask you one simple question for anybody who spanks. How often do you have to spank? And if you tell me, almost never, then I'm going to say, you know what? Maybe that's effective. But if you tell me I have to spank them once a day, once a week, once a month, I'm going to tell you something's not working there. This child's not getting the lesson you're trying to teach. If they're getting the lesson, they're going to correct their behavior from it. Please understand that that taking your feelings out on children just because they're helpless and because you're stronger doesn't make you a man. That doesn't make this guy a man at all. And he's a guy who would never show up in my office. And if he did, he'd probably want to fight me just because his power shows how strong he is. The reality is, do you want your daughter's husband to treat her that way? No way. I'd want to kill him then don't treat her that way because you know what? It's teaching her that she deserves that. Do you want your son to grow up and beat his wife? No? Then pay attention because I can promise you, if this guy doesn't abuse other people in his lives, he probably does verbally with his words. I don't know him. I can't judge a situation other than the fact that if this happens in public, I promise you more happens in private. Please give me your comments. Fire away. Let me know what you think. One mental health professional to the rest of the world. I can take it. I can hear it. I do know from personal experience what it's like to be spanked. I do not know what it's like to spank my children. They're 22 and 19 years old now. They've never been spanked. We've worked hard to create consequence and choice. They're both highly successful, intelligent, capable, sweet, caring guys. You can do it without spanking. And if you can... I urge you to try. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.